Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy March, happy hopefully St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully I finish this in time for St. Patrick's Day. That is my goal. So for today's project, we are making a green theme project. And despite my house being about 90% green, I actually don't own anything green in my wardrobe. So we're going to change that with today's project. So the inspiration for this shirt that we will be making is actually from a shirt I saw on Reformation. I'll put a picture over here and I just thought it was really darling. I really like baby doll style tops. They're very flowy and easy to wear. I'm not a big fan of things that fit really close to my body, especially in the summer. Um, I just get hot really, really quickly. So this is kind of a happy medium for me to be able to wear a shirt, but it's still kind of loose and flowy. So the pattern that we are going to be using today is McCall's 8199. And I am going to be making view C with a couple of changes. Number one, I am going to lengthen it more than I did the last crop top that I made um, to just make it to where it doesn't hit me right at my waist. And then I'm going to be shortening the sleeves as well to more three quarter length sleeves like the original inspiration photo and not long sleeves so that's the pattern that we're going to be using and the fabric we are going to be using is this beautiful kind of sage green checkered fabric that I got from Joann's I had been eyeing this fabric for several months and it finally ended up going on sale so I just bought the rest of the bolt there wasn't much left this was a very popular fabric um, so yeah this is the fabric that we are going to be using so let's just hop right in get this fabric cut out and start sewing Here is the progress so far she's looking cute I tried the length on and thank goodness I adjusted the length because I think I added three or four inches to the original length and this hits me just where I want it so I'm pretty happy with that so now let's work on the sleeves
progress update so far. So we have both of the sleeves attached to the front bodice and this is just looking so cute. I did try it on as best as I could with the sleeve not being all the way done and the back not being attached. And it does seem to fit really well. Um, the one adjustment I did do was I made the elastic a little bit shorter than what the size guide said for my size. It just seemed a little bit loose. I need to trim some little threads here. But I was going to call it a day, but it just started raining and now it's really cozy. And so I think I may just continue to work on this. The next part that we are going to be doing is making the lining for the bodice on the front, get that done. And then it looks like we'll be adding the back panel. And then all that's really left is to add the elastic on the inside, which is what the bias tape is for, then put the elastic at the end of the sleeves. So I'm trying to decide, I think for the elastic at the ends of the sleeves, the original pattern for view C has a ruffle at the end. And I think I am just going to do a narrow casing at the end, just to make it a simple, I don't know what you would call that armhole instead of a ruffled one. Um, just since I have it at like the three quarter length, I feel like having a ruffle there might look a little strange. But yeah, I am just, I don't know, I love this fabric so much. So let's keep this momentum going. been a little bit since I talked to you guys. I got the lining in and then Rose had to get up from her nap so I at least got a little bit more done. But let me show you what we are working on now because I have about another hour that I can work on it this afternoon. So let me flip this around for you guys. So what we are currently working on is the piece of elastic that goes in the back of the shirt. So here's a sleeve. Here's the front with the lining that's not attached to this portion yet. The other sleeve. And so this is the back of the shirt. So there's a piece of elastic that will go here and then another one that will go roughly right here. I think I need to look at the pattern piece again. So now what I'm trying to decide is just where I need to put this bias tape. So we're just gonna try to fiddle around with this um, and see if I can at least get this casing and the other casing on because that's gonna be the most time consuming part. But yeah, so that is the plan. Let's see what we can figure out. is why if something doesn't feel right you just need to stop because I caught the bottom part <laughs> the back in the stitching <sighs> all right time to see him rip be right back crisis averted we got it figured out and re-sewn so this is what will end up happening so this is the inside of the back of the shirt so what will end up happening is I will fold this bias tape over I'm going to press this and then I'm going to sew along the bottom here to make a casing for the elastic. And then I'm going to sew another casing very similar to this in the middle here for the elastic as well. So we're getting there. We just have to do this and then finish off the sleeves and hem it and then it's done. So love making shirts. I know I just made one not that long ago, but uh, it's a very nice and quick satisfying project. I do need to reattach my sleeve though here I missed it in my seam. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I just don't pay attention when I'm sewing sometimes. So have a couple things to fix, but we're on the home stretch.
the shirt is done and I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Is it perfect? No, but is any sewing project ever perfect? I just really love this fabric. I think I've said that at least four times in this video plus multiple of others that I edited out of this video. But I'm actually going to order some more of this fabric to make a dress because I think it'll be just a fun summer dress and I think it's just the perfect print for it. But let's talk about the shirt. Let's first talk about the actual sewing pattern. So I really, really like this pattern. It did say beginner. And I don't know if I would agree that it's beginner just because there's quite a few different techniques that you need to know. And it's also a little confusing how the entire shirt goes together. But overall, I really liked it. I think the fit is spot on and I think it's just a really good pattern. Now I did make some mistakes along the way and it's not the pattern's fault, it is my fault. Um, it is still just a little too short. I wish I would have added a couple more, maybe like an inch at least to the bottom, but it is definitely still wearable. That's number one. Number two, my bodice lining did not match up with the front of my bodice, which again is my own fault because I got a little confused at the beginning putting the pattern together. But other than that, I feel like the pattern was really easy to follow for the most part. The fabric, as we know, I absolutely love. I love the color and I think the style really plays true to my original inspiration. So overall, really happy. Glad to have another shirt in my wardrobe. I'm not always a big jeans and shirt person, but I'm trying to have a little bit more versatility in my wardrobe and this is a nice one to have. So I thought before we would end this, I would give you guys a little extra bonus thing at the end here. Because this is releasing on St. Patrick's Day and all things green, I thought I would share just a couple of my favorite green things that I own. I know it's kind of random, but I just thought it would be kind of fun because this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Let me just jump right in. The first two things I wanted to show you guys are some vinyl actually. So the first is an actual green vinyl and it is the Leve Everything I Know About Love vinyl. My parents got me this and it is the Urban Outfitters green album. This is one of my favorites of hers. This and Bewitched, but Bewitched does not go with today's theme. So I thought I would share this one with you guys. And then the other one is by Keith and Kristen Getty, who are Irish American Christian singers. They kind of sing old hymns and modern day hymns for the modern day church. Love this album so much though, because it has the hymns, but it also has a lot of traditional Irish music in it. This has been on repeat recently, so I absolutely love this. And the cover is green. There are my vinyl. I have one random homeware thing, and this is a fairly new purchase for me. I got this at Goodwill, and it is this little green vase. I think it's just so cute. I really like the size of it, and I'm finding that I really like colored vases rather than glass. It just looks so much cleaner not seeing these stems, but I just like having this in the center of our table because you can still see people around it and have it in the center of your table without having to move it. So this has been very fun to have. The next thing is a teacup, and this is actually the only green teacup that I own. I do have tea in it, so I'm not going to be able to show you the inside, but this is the outside of the cup and then this is the plate and I love this teacup. This is my style in a teacup and I actually saw this teacup from Lauren Johnson, my favorite YouTuber, and I searched and searched the internet to find one just like it because I loved it so much. I ended up finding it on Etsy and it is probably my favorite teacup I own. And then this last couple things I have to show you are just a couple of books. And I honestly love all of my green books. I collect green books and I'm really proud of my collection, but these are just some of my favorites. This one is a copy of Middlemarch that I found at our local antique mall. And I just thought it was so pretty. I love this dark green with the gold lettering. Don't really know what I think of this story really. It was an interesting read, we will say that. But there is this one. This next one I found at that exact same antique mall and it is A Girl of the Limberlost. And I love this edition. I think it is so beautiful. I especially love this picture in the front. If you've never read this, I would say it's like Anne of Green Gables, but in like a swamp. I would say it's a good description of this book, but it was a very fun read, um, especially for like the spring and summer because she loves being outside. And then the last book is actually a set of books and it is this beautiful Folio Society 
set of the Chronicles of Narnia. Caleb gifted this to me a couple Christmases ago and it is probably the pride and joy of my green library. Here's what the front of the books look like and then there's the spine and then it has the classic illustrations inside of it as well. See if I can find a page from the old book. See, there we go. So yeah, love these books. These are definitely my prized possessions and I love them so, so much. I'm actually planning on reading these out loud to Rosie this year. But yeah, those are just a couple of my favorite green things in honor of St. Patrick's Day. But that being said, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know in a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day to anyone who is celebrating and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.